This morning, I heard one of my favorite kinds of cases. You know, age plays a big part in the success of any marriage. Wanting to get married too soon was just one of the issues a young couple brought into court today. Divorce court is now in session. I have here Veronica Gray and Samuel Sanchez. The two of you are in love, but you're not quite sure whether or not marriage is a thing to do, so you've come here for my opinion. I've given you my compatibility test. I also have your license, which I have permission to do away with should I think your union is ill-advised. I'm gonna start with Ms. Gray. Why don't you tell me that although you love him, why you're not so sure you wanna commit to him for a lifetime? Yes, Your Honor. The reason why I'm not sure if I want to commit to him is because of how he is. He's cheap, the lack of communication, and the jealousy. Start with the one that bugs you the most. The lack of communication. Uh-huh, okay. The conversations we have, he always assumes things, and he never, he's never on point. And also, if I ask him a question, he doesn't answer it, or it's always a miscommunication. Like, for example, I had told him to pick me up from work at 8.30 and to be ahead of time, like to be there at 8 o'clock, and he wasn't there on time, and I had to wait until 9 o'clock. Okay. Now, oh, is that something he does frequently? If you ask him to do something, he doesn't quite get there. Anybody could have a little time <laughs> hiccup. I, I mean, when you say he assumes things, when you when you talk, what do you mean? Does he doesn't he doesn't understand what you're saying, or he doesn't let you finish a sentence? Yeah, he doesn't understand what I'm saying. Okay, are you sure it's you and not him? Yes, it's him. It's <laughs> 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 the Sanchez. She says it's you. She says you never understand what she's talking about. Is that true? It's not that that I don't understand, and she doesn't make herself clear. So mm -hmm. she expects me like. Uh, to understand it the first time around. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I might not just be on that path of thinking right. right. right so... Right. Can anybody give me an example of where you two crossed paths when you tried to communicate a simple thing? Uh, there's been times where she wa she would want me to be be at a certain point and she would, she would tell me, say, like a white lie, say, oh, I'm getting off at 8.30, mm -hmm. when she's really getting off at 9, knowing that probably I might be late. Not that I'm always late, <laughs> but that's the mi miscommunication. She, she oh, has no, to... Oh, no, that's not miscommunication. <laughs> yeah. That's an entirely different yeah. thing. That, that's it. She, she's making accommodations for your lateness. Yes. I used to do that to my husband all the time. <laughs> I don't like waiting. Yes. Uh, so if you were on time more, that probably wouldn't happen, well, you, th you think? Yeah, I think so. And I'm impatient, so I don't like waiting myself. So okay, I so you yeah, understand. You can't leave your woman waiting. No. Nine o'clock at night. Yeah. You know what I mean? Come on now. But other communication problems other than something like that, because that's just her way of trying to get picked up all time. But go ahead. Um, there is one example when I had told him the day before my friend was turning 21 that I was going to go out with her to celebrate her 21st birthday because I didn't want her to be alone. Mm -hmm. And on that day, he called me, where are you at? Why aren't you here? And I told him ahead of time the day before I was going out with her. And then it was just like a miscommunication. He was all mad, all jealous, but I told him. Did you not remember or did she not tell you? I or? think it was she did not tell me. I think maybe in her mind she might have thought that. Uh -huh, uh, but it because, never really happened. It never really happened because at the end, like, I got it out of her and she said, oh, I'm sorry. So no. that just justified it in my head that I, I wasn't just hearing things. It was what it was. Okay. So you think that... Now, when you say you have communication problems and it's her, do you think she doesn't articulate well? I mean, she doesn't yeah, say what she means? Yeah, she's or not Or she detailed. just doesn't say anything at all? No, it's not that. It's just, like, when she's telling me something, it might not be the whole story. So, like, she, is, like she says, I, I, don't, I don't assume. And, like, I don't read minds, but she wants me to be like that. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a man. Let's talk about how cheap he is. Oh, okay. Um, one day I wanted Jamba Juice, and it was, like, $5. He couldn't afford to get it for me. <laughs> oh, that's all bad. Is it Mr. Sanchez? Well, what would you like to say? It's like this. It's like if I can afford it and it's in the budget, then I'll go ahead and do it for her. Whether I have it or not, whether it's out of my budget, you know, things mm -hmm. I want to get, I put her first. Mm -hmm. So she, I think she feels like, because I'm not financially there yet, mm -hmm. I got a better job. Is now. money a little tight at your house, though? Is money, is his money tight? Yes. You know, $5 for a drink when your money is tight. You know, 
My mother used to say, don't let money leak out. That's how money leaks out. $5 for this, and then you go, uh, you know, a $7 coffee yeah. with some stuff in it, and then you, next thing you know, you $30, $40 in the hole when things are tight. So it might be just prudence on his part as opposed to, it's not just about that $5, it's about five here, six there. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And I get you too, because I'm cheap, I understand. No, it's not so much, I mean, I mean, if I made, if I, <laughs> if I made a hundred plus K a year, I would, I still wouldn't no problem. be, yeah, yeah, no problem, but still I would, you know, budget my money, because I'm just not going to spurge it, because right. that's how people keep their money, by keeping their money. That's right. I like you. Uh, <laughs> you say he's overly jealous, I'm going to give you some, some... Come on, Ms. Gray, make him look bad, because he's looking <laughs> pretty good already. Um, yes, I'm not allowed to have any male friends, so if my car um, battery dies, I have to call him. I'm not, I can't have a male friend who's local to come jump, like, my battery. Mm -hmm. And also, like, I used to work in the warehouse full of men, and I would tell him to drop me off on the side, because I know he's jealous, and the guy's, like, flirting stuff, and he'll still drop me off in front to make himself jealous. Okay. Mr. Sanchez, your response to that accusation. I think I'm a little jealous, you know, mm -hmm. honestly. Not jealous. Um, but it's like she says things to fire the flame. Like what? Um, like they're they're teamster workers, so their guys make some pretty decent wages. Mm -hmm. uh, she tells me all the time, you know, I could have this older guy. You know, he's always trying to tell me, you know, you can have better things. And do to, you do that, Ms. Yeah, Gray? Yeah, of course. I'm trying to boost him to make him be like, okay, I want to keep her, you know? That's I need to make more money to keep her. I like Ms. nice things. Ms. Gray, <laughs> Ms. Gray, Ms. Gray, let me help you out. First of all, you're only 21, so you're entitled to be a little silly. And, 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 and 21 is, is a silly age. I remember 21. I was a silly individual. Now, 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 let me say that. But, Ms. Gray, that is not how to motivate a man. Let me tell you. <laughs> It's yeah, baby, it's rah, rah, sis, boom, ba. You did a good job. It's not, I could get another guy. <laughs> that'll, that'll make him crazy. That'll make him jealous, but it won't make him make you any money. It just won't. Okay. She's like the, the best person I've ever, you know, had a relationship with. I've mm -hmm. had some pretty bad ones. Mm -hmm. And that makes me want to be with her every day. Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mr. Sanchez, I don't even have to look at my notes. I bet she spends too much money. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Why don't you tell me what kind of irresponsible economic decisions she makes? Uh, for one, like, uh, I never see the same panties or bra on her twice. So she must have, like, a pair of panties for every woman in the Philippines. <laughs> and, it's, and it's to the point where, like, uh, she's like, I, I mean, I love looking at her in lingerie, you know? And, right, right. And it's something that makes me proud to be a man, that, you know, I have a beautiful wife. But it's like, at the same time, there's a, there's a time and point mm -hmm. to buy stuff, and there's a time and point, you, you know, you yeah. can't afford it. Ms. Gray, do you think you have a spending problem? No. I feel like <laughs> I work three jobs. I deserve it. I like nice things. You so... work three jobs? Yes. You got any money in the bank saved up for a rainy day? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How much? Probably like three or four hundred. <laughs> oh, baby, yeah that, that, yeah, that won't get you through a sprinkle. <laughs> I want to give a course on money one day about what disposable income is. I mean, just because you can buy something doesn't mean you can afford it. You're 21 years old. Are you thinking about any extra schooling? What are you doing right now? I'm going to school. You're going to school? Doesn't that cost money? Yes. You, are you going to go do more school beyond that? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's going to cost money too, right? Yes. You know? And they don't, they don't care what your underwear looks like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to, you know, and if you're going to get married, you're going to start talking about children, you're going to have mortgages and bills and stuff. You got you to gotta be able to prioritize. You see what I'm saying? Yes. You're 21 years old, and nothing against you, Mr. Sanchez. We're on the same page. 21 years old. He's 34, right? Yes. 
why now? Don't you think you're a little young? Yes, just a little bit, but because I love him. And I, I just want a future. I want to be with someone like I really like and have something in common with and mm -hmm. build with. Don't you think she's a little young? Yeah, she's a little young, but uh, like uh, I know a lot about her past. She knows a lot about my past, mm -hmm. and I love her for that because she's the only woman that's ever been there for me. Well, since we've started down this path, let us continue. Mr. Sanchez, why don't you give me 90 seconds on why this woman right here is the one you want to spend the rest of your life with. Make it a good sales job. Make me believe you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason why uh, I feel this way is because uh, she's, she's been there from me being down and me not being up. Uh, my career is starting to change. And I want her to be there in my future because she's been there when I was down. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm coming up, I want to be, you know, with her then. Uh, I have a nine-year-old daughter, and she, she, they love each other. They have a, a close bond. I've never had another woman in my life, even dated or been around, that she's been close to her. Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel that she'll be a good mom as long mm -hmm. as uh, she, you know, tightens up her ways financially. That was okay. <laughs> I didn't hear anything about her as a person. Um, you know, she, it, 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 you know, what is it about her? Is she bright? Is she yeah, funny? She, Does she make you laugh? Does she? We we laugh a lot. Mm -hmm. We laugh a lot. We're constantly laughing. Uh, she makes me feel like she's like the, the best person I've ever you know had a relationship with. I've mm -hmm. had some pretty bad ones. Mm -hmm. And um, as her as a person, she's very caring. Mm -hmm. um, and she has a big heart, mm -hmm. and that makes me want to be with her every day. And I just love how, you know, we, we match together. We're, we have the same birthday. We're both Aries. <laughs> and uh, she's, uh, she's very family-oriented, and I like that about her. And well done, Mr. Sanchez. Well done. I noticed, like, on my page, it says I'm, en I'm engaged and who I'm with, and hers, it just says she's engaged. It doesn't, like, she doesn't put it out there. That's my thing. She doesn't put it out there like I do. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Gray, Mr. Sanchez has told me why you are the woman for him. Now, I want to know why you think Mr. Sanchez is the only man for you. Uh, I don't feel he's the only man for me, but as of right now, he... Not a good start. <laughs> I just want to say, Ms. Gray, not a good start. Oh, ouch. Go ahead. <laughs> but he's always there for me when I need him. He brings me up when I'm down. He's very supportive. And besides the problems we have. He's a good guy. And he cooks for me. He cleans. Hey, I want to talk about that. <laughs> I do, I do. You filled out the information on the compatibility test in a manner that blew my mind just a little bit. Yes. You know, I put these chore charts in here because a lot of things that bother people during a marriage circumstances is the inequality of chores, especially if they're both in work outside the home. And I, and I want to know where they are on it. And typically, the guy, you know, says he's going to pay the bills and do the yard work, and the rest of it's not his job. My man over here says he's going to do 100% of the cooking, 80% of the bill paying, 50% of the cleaning, 80% of the child care, 20% of the laundry, and 90% of the yard work. That's how I was raised. I mean, I might take you home. <laughs> <laughs> you like to cook? I love to cook. You love to cook, so you want to you wanna cook for your family? Yes. You obviously love children. Yes. Uh, you want to have more kids? Yes. And you want to have kids? Yes. I mean, that, I mean, that right there makes you all shiny and golden, you know, <laughs> with that. So I, uh, my one concern is your concern about his jealousy. Can you tell me some of the worst things that he's done because of the jealousy? Oof, where do we start? Okay, so social media. <laughs> I had friends in the past and I deleted him off of social media. His jealousy was so bad, I had to block him on social media. I recently unblocked him, and he went, he went and searched for that friend I deleted. 
And it's just like, I can't have any male friends. I could barely have female friends. And when I go out, he wants to tag along and be a third wheel. And my friends don't feel comfortable with him really around. So that's the jealousy. Is she right not there. allowed to have male friends? No. Not that she's no. not a... Do you give her static <laughs> if she does have a male friend? She doesn't have any. Exactly. Why? Because yeah, you but, don't let me have any. <laughs> Are you the reason she has no male friends? No, when I met her, she didn't have any male friends that I know. So if she got a couple male friends, it wouldn't bother you? No. When males like or comment on my status, he assumes I'm cheating or I'm talking to him. It's not true. I'm with you. Like, why would I have to you cheat You do do that, don't you, <laughs> Like, bit? I don't have to you, cheat you. You got you. a little jealous streak in yeah, you, don't do, you, I Mr. Do. Sanchez? And you don't like her talking on social media to guys. Well, not that she don't like talking talk to her, just like, um... I noticed, like, on my page, it says I'm, en I'm engaged and who I'm with, and hers, it just says she's engaged. It doesn't, like, she doesn't put it out there. That's my thing. She doesn't put it out there like I do. You can't run a marriage, a life, a meaningful relationship on social media. That is just so not the way to do things. If you get caught up in all that, not my status is engaged, but not engaged to, and it's a, she, she had, she put two hearts on his thing and one heart on my. Come on now. No, it's juvenile. Come on. Yeah, it's juvenile. What? It's juvenile. Yes, it is. Stop it. There's always a whole lot going on in divorce court that people want to talk about. If you have something you want to say, join us on Twitter at Divorce Court or jump on our Facebook page and see what everybody's talking about on there. Sometimes you people get heated. Don't miss it. I like you people. <laughs> I do. I like you because you got sense, because you're going to cook. I like you because of your love for your daughter. You know, economically, I think you're going to go somewhere. You, you, you seem to know how to handle things. I don't know how jealous you really get. I didn't see anything extraordinary here, so I can't tag you on that one. So I think you're a solid dude. I think you're a nice young lady who's only a half an inch away from being a girl. And it frightens me that you're going to make a decision that you're going to be living with at 57, at 21. So much changes, I mean, in your mind and in your brain and what you see and what you do between 20 and 25 and 27. I remember 21. I was the silliest thing on the road. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and not that I was out doing the wrong thing and all that. I was in college and doing all of that. But all the things that I thought I knew at 21 seem ludicrous to me now. And I, I would like you to have more life experience behind you before you join forces with another person so you can feel like an independent, free individual with self-esteem so that if things do go sideways, you'll know you'll be okay on your own. And I'm not quite sure. And you're doing some little girl stuff. I told him... Other guys are making more money to help him out. That's what somebody who's young and immature would say and do. And I think that I love long engagements. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, if she's really the woman for you, you can wait a couple of years until she becomes fully a woman that you can take into your home and make sure she's all grown and make sure she has a life of her own, independent of yours, that is full and passionate. And you'll enjoy her more when she's like that. I, I want to say that. So that I have nothing negative to say about two of you. I'm not, I got this a marriage license. I'm going to slide it on over to you. But I want you to let that sucker expire and get another one 18 months from now if everything is still cool. You with me? I'm with you. Good luck to both of you. Thank this you. matters a lot. Just like I told Veronica and Samuel, there is no reason to rush down the aisle. The vows say, until death do you part. You got time. Take it. <laughs>